my beautiful soul family and welcome. So before we start the readings, we're going to do a mini meditation with my singing bowl. This is a rainbow singing bowl and I got this for all of you here on YouTube. So, uh, of course, I'm going to invoke Archangel Metatron to come through with the sun grid, with light, love and the protection with the Holy Spirit. I will invoke also Mother Gaia, Earth Mother to be here with us to sustain the healing and reading and to keep us grounded. I will invoke Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space. I'll do the same thing for you. I will invoke Archangel Raphael to send healing to those that want to embrace it. And I will invoke Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And last but not least, I will invoke Archangel Meta uh, Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with intentions. The only thing you need to do is just relax. Take a deep breath in and just like take in the energy and the frequency of the singing bowl. So let's get started. Archangel Uriel, to clear my energy and space and yours as well. Archangel Raphael, to send healing energy, body, mind. Archangel Michael, for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And last but not least, Archangel Gabriel, to raise the frequency of the collective with light, love, harmony, peace, protection, good health. Abundance in any shape, way, or form. And so it is. Perfect. Here we go. We'll put this on the side. I'll put it here. And um, first and foremost, I just want to say to all of you that my mom sends you her love and a hug so i just want you to take two seconds and feel my mom's energy and presence with all of you here and sending you a hug telling you how much she truly admires and loves all of you here and she tells me that she's going to continue to pray for you three times a day and also she's also praying for the collective as well this is her passion and this is what she loves to do and she's been doing this for a very very long time so it's not just like recently uh, again, she just wants to thank everybody for the beautiful comments. Like she, uh, I've been reading to her all the comments from last year to now, and she's in awe <laughs> completely. But she says that she feels super blessed to have you as her soul family. And uh, when she's ready, maybe one day she'll be on camera with me. But at this time, she's not ready to come on camera because she's very camera shy. Okay, but again, she sends you her love. I also want to thank you and my family as well. want to thank everybody here for all the love and support. Um, and there's a lot of new subscribers that are here on my channel, so welcome. I also want to uh, take the time to thank you, uh, thank those of you that have been with me uh, since the beginning of my channel, those of you that came halfway through or recent. Again, a big thank you for all the love and support and to my community of 27 years. Uh, thank you for letting me share my gift with you. I greatly appreciate it that I'm able to do that. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to say that underneath the video, uh, for those of you that are interested, there's two uh, crystal stores that I support uh, very much. Uh, they're a family-based uh, orientation, okay? And so if you want any crystals that I mentioned, or you're looking for crystals, or you just want to look at it, there's two links at the bottom of the video uh, where there's uh, you get a percentage off with my name on it. Uh, for those of you that want to follow me on Instagram, uh, I put uh, Patricia Luna 1111. Um, so or patricia1111 on instagram on facebook is patricia luna and if you want to join my private group 
uh, that I have on Facebook. If you do have Facebook, it's a private group where we share everything that happens in the readings. So there's a lot of people, there's a lot of love and support there. Uh, there's a link underneath the video. For those of you that are looking for healers and readers, because at this time I am not giving any personal readings. Uh, there is Mark, my good friend, and of course there's also uh, Corinne, my good friend, and soul sister and soul brother that are amazing healers. If you need anything, there is a website underneath their name. You could check out their website, read about it, look at the reviews. I trust them. And they're, they're really fantastic people and they're really good. And they really are good energy healers. And uh, if you're also looking for a reader, they both they both do that to uh, their channelers as well. Uh, if those of you that want to write to me, there's a PO box number underneath the video too. So uh, that's it. And uh, let's get started with your readings. I'll be right back. Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from March 8th to the 14th, 2021. I hope that you had a great weekend and you had a great start of the week. And let's get started with your affirmations. Okay, hashtag Harry's Nation. Now remember when you do an affirmation and any type of affirmations that you do, to repeat them three times for them to activate. Okay, so let's see what your affirmation is of the week. You got two cards. So let's look at them together. First one is blame. And your affirmation is, I accept responsibility for my well-being. I respect, I accept responsibility for my well-being. And I accept responsibility for my well-being. And so it is. The next one you got is balance. And your affirmation is, I, uh, uh, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. And so it is. So now we're going to look into Gaia Oracle where she's going to show us uh, what's coming up for you, what's in store for you and what you're going through at this moment. Here you go. Okay. So the first card you got is attachment. In the recent past till now, you're you're trying to let go of restriction and fear. Okay, letting go of attachments, restriction, fear. Yeah, this is what you're trying to let go of. What's coming right in the middle of your reading is the message. When you see the dove energy like that, there's something peaceful coming towards you. This talks about positive news and a positive outcome. And last but not least, you got Ganesha. And this talks about clearing away obstacles in your way. Okay. And along your journey, you are protected and there's a lot of guidance that's coming towards you. In the numerology, you got number eight, number 10, which is a new beginning. And number 31, which talks about stability, with the fours, and it's also about angels. These are beautiful cards that you're going through. I'm sure you could see them here. And now we're going to start your reading, my beautiful Aries. Okay. This reading is for Aries Sun, and anywhere that you have Aries in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where you are, what is crossing you, what spirit wants you to focus on, your recent past, what is crowning you, your immediate future, what is hidden from you, and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which spirit wants me to clarify for you. One more time. Perfect. Okay, let's cut the cards in three. And let's get started. guys want to talk 
cards are coming out nice and smooth. This card does not belong here. Put it here. Alrighty, let me take my spray. All right, some for you and some for me for protection. And let's get started. Overall energy, I got the two of wands. So the two of wands talks about where you're making short-term plans, maybe in a business, in love, or just in in general in your immediate future of what what your goals are, what you want to do. Maybe you're texting, calling. This is a situation. Uh, but you're not really taking action and going. You're just doing the, the, the preparations. And there's still something holding you back here. Okay? And where you are now, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter is in to come in. It's a second chance that's taking place. This could be about something that's destined and fated to come your way. And it's also could be about luck at this time. What's crossing you is the Six of Swords. So there's a transition that you will be going through. So you could be relocating or moving. Uh, what Spirit wants you to focus on is this Knight of Cups energy. So there is someone here, whether it's you, Aries, Vice versa, or the Cross Watcher energy. Someone's coming in to offer love here, okay? They want, they, they want to romance you. They want to just express their feelings towards you. They're coming in as a knight. In the recent past till now with the Five of Wands reversed, okay? You overcame a situation where there was a lot of drama and fighting in a situation. What is crowning you is the Three of Wands. Okay, so you're waiting for your ships to come in. You've been feeling it. You know something is coming in for you. Maybe some of you already have received your gifts or your blessing. For others of you, this is coming in and you've been and you're waiting for the situation. Uh, in the immediate future, I got the seven of cups reversed, which is a good card. It talks about where you're grounded, you're focused on your dream or your goal. And what's supporting you is the elephant. This could be a marriage for some of you, an institution. An establishment. It can also mean about higher learning as well, okay, that you've been doing a lot of work, okay, you've been even receiving a lot of information as well, okay, uh, with your spirit guides here. You got the key. You got the keys, okay, this is what I'm being, uh, I'm being told here. And it's about a higher learning of consciousness. And what is, uh, that you can't see right now is the Page of Swords energy. So this could be about creative, uh, creative uh, ideas that are going to come into play for you. Uh, for others of you, this could talk about a beginning, some sort of a beginning. Um, there's some type of communication that's taking place on the internet, maybe on social media or something like that, okay? Uh, and uh, in the hopes and fear, I got the Eight of Pentacles. There's something that you've been working on and late hours at night, but you've been working it and perfectioning it till you get it perfect, okay? A lot of energy here. And the possible outcome, I got the Tower. So Pluto is uh, coming in. This is the divine timing. Divine coming in to clear energy and to do a change because to bring this wheel of fortune, okay, that it has to come with a change, and this is what's taking place. I also have a few messages before I even take out the cards to um, start um, clarifying. I have a message here for someone, uh, from someone out there, Aries, uh, for those of you that are waiting from someone a long distance because of what's taking place, the travel cannot be done right now. Uh, but they are here offering you love and there's a possibility of marriage, okay, in the picture for you. I do see that. And for others of you that you've been working on a project or working on something for such a long time to perfective, okay, you know that there is a change coming for you and I feel money is going to be an increase for you, Aries. There's a money increase here. And um, I feel that you're in a bubble where you've been working a lot upon yourself. You've been working on a situation where there's not, a, there's not like you're not confused any longer, where there was a lot of, like there's something that's being taken away from you in the sense that you are more centered is what I'm picking up, okay? So now let's start clarifying the cards. I'm going to shuffle the cards a few times. So one. Two, and one more time, three, 
Okay, cut them in three, and let's get started. All right. Let's look at the Two of Wands energy. Uh, this is uh, the card where, okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to bring it here so you can see it. Where you're making futuristic plans, you're determined, you have willpower here, but there's still something that's holding you back and you're not really taking action yet. Let's see why. Two of Wands. Okay, there's a lot of cards here. Uh -huh. Okay. So what I see here is uh, a lot. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of cards that came out. A lot of you are keeping quiet. And that's good. There's something that you're withholding. There's withholding information. This doesn't have to be about a person in particular withholding information from you. It could be, but I don't see it as that. Okay, I see it more universal. I also see that you're keeping quiet about your projects. And that's what you have to do. Okay, there's, when you're working on a new project or a project that you want... It to be successful in any shape way or form sometimes it's best to keep things to yourself and this is what i feel that you're doing okay you're keeping it hush hush here there's a situation here that's taking place okay uh it's it's amazing you came into your own reading the emperor aries what you're doing here is that you're delegating you are making future plans or in, like near future plans, uh, setting up, uh, you know, new boundaries, new rules, having everything under control. This could be about, uh, it's about a commitment that you're trying to make maybe. For others of you, this is about business. Like you're really like delegating and how you want things to be, okay? What you got next to you is the star card. And I love that. This is Aquarian energy. Maybe for you, some of you, this has to do with an Aquarius in your life. For others of you, this has to do with something that you wished upon is coming true for you. Simple as that. This is about your faith and your hope being restored in a situation. And you've also got the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this is you being reliable, insecurity, grounded, and a lot of success here in a business. I do see that in a business or in a foundation. It's very great here. Whatever it is that you've been working on with Eight of Pentacles, they're asking you to keep working on it because you got 88 twice in your reading. So there is whatever energy you've been putting on, it's going to come to fruition because this will bring you completion. You're going to come full circle and pausing. This is beautiful energy, Aries. I'm very happy to see that. So let's look at the Wheel of Fortune here. Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune together. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Aries? You got the Five of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. You've been, there's been a lot of healing in a situation where there's been a lot of fighting and drama or this is what you are involved in at this time. Uh, I do see like maybe there was a situation that there had to be a break or a time out from a person or situation because there was a lot of fighting and drama. I feel that there's a second chance taking place here for you because this is destined to come towards you again. And they're coming in as the Knight of Cups. So there is a Knight of Cups energy, wanting, someone wanting to share, wanting to show you a love, appreciation, and express their feelings towards you. Okay? Now let's look at the Six of Swords and what's crossing you at this time. Okay. I got the Two of Wands, the Strength card. And the hang man. Okay, I reversed. I get it. So there's a situation here where it's you or them. There's someone here that's going through, okay, a spiritual awakening. Okay, this could happen in six days or six weeks from now. This could be already happening for you now, Aries. Where, yes, again, with the two of wands, 22 here, making futuristic plans, okay? Not really taking action. You're just making the plans, but something is still holding you back. But I do see that you're going to be relocating and moving. And I also see here, for some of you here, if it's not that you're relocating, let's say, you say, well, I'm not going to move. I'm not moving anywhere. Okay. So you're going to be going through a transition. Okay. This is what it's showing me. The transition has to do with the hangman reversed. There's a spiritual awakening that's going to take place here for you. And the strength card could be about Leo energy. If it's not about Leo energy, this is a beautiful healing that's going to be taking place in your life. And it's also about having the courage and the strength and the self-confidence in a situation. Okay. So now let's look at the Knight of Cups. 
in what spirit is wanting to show you here. There's a Knight of Cups energy. Whether this is you wanting to share or someone is coming in. You got the Chariot reversed. The Nine of Cups. And the Three of Swords. Okay. There's a wish fulfillment here that you truly want from your heart of heart. Okay. Maybe you're wanting to show love to someone, but you're not ready to take action. You're just making plans on how you're going to do this. Or there's someone around you that is in this type of energy. Because I do see someone uh, that is still heartbroken. I see someone that still needs healing. And someone with the chariot reverse, not really Cancerian energy or Sagittarian energy. Someone not taking really control and taking control of their life and moving forward. There's, these are just thoughts that are taking place right now. Let's look in the recent past till now. The Five of Swords reversed. We got here the, the Five of Swords upright. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. The Ten of Wands reversed. And the Page of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. There's a situation in the past that you were enduring where there was a lot of drama and fighting in a situation, in a home, in a family. It could be a home, a family business, whatever it is, a, a business. But just a lot of energy. They're showing me that saluting from you. But the Five of Swords uh, upright is showing me that there was a lot of people that were not uh, for your highest good. Uh, Aries, someone, people that wanted to backstab you. Lies, deceit. Could be also abuse that you went through. Bullying. Okay. And there was something here with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, the Ten of Wands reversed, and the Page of Pentacles reversed, is when this came to light, I think something came to light, something here with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, something was unstable, maybe in a business, in a home, in a situation, okay, and uh, not making progress in any type of stability, uh, no one being regretful, or no one asking for forgiveness, or, or someone apologizing in a situation, now, let's look at the Three of Wands and what's crowning you. You got the Four of Wands. There's an offer here, a marriage. There's an offer, 100% with the Four of Wands. This could be about something happy happening in the home, some type of ceremony or something that's happening here. Okay, you got the three of wands twice. You're waiting for something to come towards you. You're waiting, but it's in um, transformational. Something is being transformed here. Okay, whatever uh, seeds that you planted. Doesn't mean a seed like a really seed from outside, like just things that you intended. They're coming through. There's a huge transformation. There will be, okay, there will be. Some type of proposal here for some of you that are waiting for a marriage proposal. I see it coming through, especially if the person lives long, long distance from you or if in another country. I do see it coming through here. For others of you, there's a beautiful uh, announcement taking place in the home. Uh, there be, could be a renewal of uh, vows for others of you. And I see like uh, just a celebration taking place. Now, what they're showing me here is uh, some of you are uh, expecting... Uh, you're expecting, some of you are expecting someone to come in to give you an unexpected message. I feel that's blocked. Now, or you block someone, Aries, or someone blocked you, but there's some type of blockage here in a situation, okay, that you're not accepting anybody coming in or you're not, or you're not going to be the one. If let's say there's a cross watcher that's watching this and you want Aries to reach out to you, at this time, they're not going to reach out to you. It's that simple. They're not ready to. Okay, they've been the nine of wands energy is a very tired energy, frustration energy. It also talks about forge still standing up but, but forging ahead. And what I see around you is the devil energy, Capricorn. This could be toxic people or situations, addictions. Uh, they could be about unhealthy people, fears, because a lot remember you are you are releasing a lot at this time. You're releasing a lot, right? But there is a positive outcome, and you are protected and guided along the way, right? Uh, there's a breakthrough that's going to take place. And with the judgment card, there could be a resurrection. 
in a situation that was completely like, you did not think that it would ever come back together. There is some type of judgment or resurrection that will be taking place here in a situation. Now, uh, let's look at the seven of cups reversed. Got the four of cups. The tower again. Woohoo! Twice. Divine intervention. And the magician. A lot of you are manifesting. You're manifesting because you have all the resources here to manifest all your dreams come true. You are focused. Okay? There's no more confusion about the situation. There is an offer on the table. You got a lot of fours around you, and the fours talk about the angels. Your spirit guides are supporting you and guiding you at this time. But there's an offer on the table here. And the tower is coming in. Again, the tower. Pluto energy coming in to bring you positive changes. Now, let's look at the elephant. You got a lot of cards. You got the Three of Pentacles, Temperance, the King of Wands reversed, and the Ace of Cups reversed. I feel that someone still needs healing here, whether it's you, Aries, vice versa, or the Cross Watcher. Someone needs to heal themselves. Okay, uh, this is about having unconditional love. There's a lot of hurt here in a situation, in a relationship that was a relationship, or if it was a marriage, okay? I feel that it's still standing strong, and there's cooperation at this time, so there is a strong foundation in the situation here for you, okay? And uh, But there's a lot of healing that's taking place, and there will be a lot of healing taking place, such Sagittarian energy. Uh, a lot of you are asking for divine intervention at this time. You're needing help in a situation here to heal, uh, because I see a lot of anger. Uh, but you're also returning to um, accepting what took place. Someone is accepting here what took place in a situation. And now with the King of Wands reverse, it's like they're accepting. They're becoming more humble. They're accepting the situation. They're still working on themselves because their heart chakra still needs to be healed. Because uh, uh, I feel like something is being bonded by finances is what they're telling me. Finances. Let's take another card for the Ace of Cups reversed and the King of Wands reversed. Another card, please. Yeah, it's about making a decision. It's about, okay, it's, it actually is about removing the veil from your eyes, accepting a situation, and opening up that heart chakra. Because there's a decision that has to be made here. Because there's a lot of repressed emotions in this situation. With the Page of Swords reversed, I feel that there is some type of creative ideas that are taking place now. There's a there's communication, okay. Start of a, a communication. Um, it's not stable yet, but it's getting there. Aries, or you're watching someone on social media, or they're watching you. There could also be envy, envious in the situation, or envy, okay. Now let's look at the page of swords and what is being hidden from you at this time, because you got the page of swords twice. You got the Six of Swords reversed. So there's something that you're, uh, if this is you or the person you're dealing with, someone is stuck in their mind about the situation. They're overthinking and overanalyzing. And I do feel that there is someone here that's going through a difficult moment in the process of thing, letting things happen. Because I feel that someone here wants to take control or have control of a situation here. Okay, so there's a lot of disappointment and there's a lot of hurt with the sun reverse and a lot of, someone in here is not sleeping at night, okay? Uh, a lot of like, a lot of worrisome, like you're worried all the time, okay? Not being able to sleep. A lot of disappoint, disappointment and sadness in a situation here. Yeah, with the Five of Cups energy, you're releasing, you're releasing, you're releasing, you're releasing the resentment, the hurt. Uh, there, there is a strong foundation in this, or a strong, there's a strong connection in this situation that you're dealing with, but you are releasing and letting go. Uh, it's about seeing the silver lining in a situation and understanding why this took place and uh, what this experience had to teach you. This is what they're telling me. Okay, so now let's look at the Eight of Pentacles 
in the hopes and fears. There's something that you're putting a lot of energy into. And something is lopsided in a situation. So there's something that you put, put a lot of energy into. Okay. And uh, with the lover's energy, it could be a lover, a friend. It could be a, a daughter, a, a son. Uh, it could be about a soulmate, a twin flame for others of you. Uh, there's a choice to be made here in this situation. There's a choice. Okay. Uh, you're not going to be holding back any longer. So I feel that you are going to be opening that heart chakra of yours so that you could heal from the situation with the Three of Swords. Um, so that you could become whole again and be that unconditional love. Because at this time right now, with the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Six of Pentacles reverse, something is lopsided in a situation. And there's not there's that stability that you're needing is not there. Now let's look at the tower in the possible outcome. You got the Eight of Swords energy. That card came out again. So you're feeling stuck in your mind about a situation, or you're feeling stuck altogether. In a situation, the tower is coming in to clear. <clears throat> I feel here, if you have a child or you have children, I feel that they will be fine. This also talks about where they're in their element, 100%. Uh, if it has to do with you, your inner child energy is going to be healed. There is a new emotional experience that will be taking place here for you, for others of you. And you have the Ten of Cups energy. So there is a new beginning taking place in emotions. This could be a relationship, a soulmate relationship. If this, let's like, say, well, I'm, you say you come to me and say, well, I, I, I'm not seeing anybody. I'm not dating. I'm not talking to anybody. Well, there's unhappiness in your home, in your family, in your community. There's a lot of contentment here. But for those of you, this is the start of a new relationship, a new emotional experience that's taking place. And underneath the deck, you've got the Seven of Wands energy. And the Seven of Wands talks about whatever the situation is, Spirit is telling you that you're going to overcome it. And if I look again underneath the deck, you have the Ace of Swords, which tells me that the divine is coming in to clear, to clear the fog, the situation, whatever it is. There's going to be a lot of clear-cut communication, creative ideas. And again, with the Queen of Wands, you're going to rise, my beautiful Aries. You're going to rise from the situation, okay? And there's a death and rebirth that's taking place as well, Okay. So this is your reading. We'll put this aside and we're going to look into your crystals. All righty. For Aries. Okay, you got your cards. First one you got is Rainbow Obsidian. Heal your heart. Heal your art. You can do this with a, the Rainbow Obsidian. You can do it with a, the Rose Quartz as well. You could use Turquoise. You could use Emerald. There's a lot of healing from a lot of crystals. And you got the Pink Opal. And this is about be kind to yourself, Aries. Be kind to yourself at this time. So these are the crystals that you will need. Now we're going to look into the sacred geometry. There it is. You got three cards. You got two frequency cards. So let me put my glasses on so I can read you the numberology as well. First card you got is a master number. It's a number four. And this is about stability, of course. It's also about protection as well. And this is Merkaba healing. So this is what's taking place now in your life. It's Merkaba healing. And this talks about healing on all levels that are taking place at this time. Healing on all level. The next two cards you got is, you got one of them, the frequency is number 30, which is about your intuition and wisdom. You could be wearing the color purple a lot if you want. You could be carrying an amethyst if you have amethyst, okay? And it's the 852 energy. 
Okay, so you go on YouTube, go to, um, I know, uh, I go to Meditative Mind. I think it's Meditative Mind. And it's 852 frequency. You don't have to meditate. And if you're not able to sit down and meditate, you could like, let's say, uh, a day that you're home and you're, I don't know, cleaning the house, for example. Put it on speaker and let it fill your whole house while you do this meditation. It also works for that. And then you got the 28 with the 28 frequencies, a 10, a new beginning. You got the 639. And this is about reconnection of relationships to self and others. Okay. You can also be wearing the color lime or green or just carry green crystals, the fluorite. You could carry fluorite. So you have two frequencies and Merkaba healing taking place for you. Okay. Beautiful energy. Three, four, two, three, four is your in synchronicity. Now let's look at the romance angels to see what is, if there's some cards here for you. One, two, and three. For Aries. You got two cards. <laughs> Look at that. Wedding and honeymoon. So someone here is uh, probably rekindling their uh, vows or someone is getting married. So there's wedding and honeymoon. This situation involves marriage and enjoy the bliss of holi hol uh, holiday time together. Beautiful energy here for whoever this pertains to. And now we're going to take a card from the universe to see what the universe wants to tell you, Aries. Okay, you got four cards. I'm gonna take them out because they're on my. They're on. They're <laughs> okay, so the first card you got is all you need is to believe in yourself. All you need is to believe in yourself, Aries. Okay, so put this right here. Next one you got is the more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. The more loving care you give yourself, the more you have to give to others. Next one, everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. And last but not least, you got, don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. Don't be afraid of losing someone that doesn't want you. That's a message clearly for someone out there because I felt it really deep. Uh and Archangel Michael. That's what Archangel Michael wants to tell you. Your message is prayer will help the situation. And your prayer is, dear God and Archangel Michael, and anyone else to whom you pray, as, such as Jesus, I ask for divine intervention. Describe your situation. I welcome your help, and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle and ask that you send one to me in this situation quickly. Thank you and amen. Now, we're gonna, last but not least, we're going to take a card from the White Light Oracle, where I'll read you a passage and give you a healing. For those of you that want to stay, I am a master Reiki energy uh, healer, practitioner, uh, and I'm going to start implicating more of my healings in my readings as well. Okay, Aries. Here we go. Let's see, take out the book. Got number four again, Anna Pauses. Beautiful energy. I'll show you the card in a second. Okay. Here's your card. Look how beautiful this card is. A beautiful healing is taking place here. Do not give up, but allow your heart to disengage from your struggles. 
Give yourself much needed rest. You are in the you are in a phase of recovery. If you have been off your path, you are going to come back strong. You will regain your spark of passion, inspiration, and devotion. A certain order of events needs to take place for your soul path to come to fruition. Commit yourself to your sacred journey, trusting that the right thing will happen at the right time. Okay, and in Latin, this word anapostis refers to the se se cessation of works of works so one can regain strength, renew, and heighten creative productivity. It is a it is a rest for success. The Oracle of Anapostis advises physical, emotional, and psychological rest to reset yourself. That might mean switching off without fear or guilt. It is likely to mean giving up worries and the, con the constant replay of anxiety-ridden speculations. Find some spaciousness and pleasure within and around yourself so you may experience healing and renewal. If you have been considering working with a healer, this is a confirmation to pursue such a path. The Oracle also recommends finding spiritual rest, even if you're still working hard. Spiritual rest happens when we take sanctuary in the sacred. We give up trying to become something or other and instead tend fully to, to the task at hand, completely engaged in the moment. When we do so, we are trusting that the universe knows what it is doing and that we are part of a greater unfolding plan. All right, so let's do the healing process. If you have water, tea, coffee, whatever you're drinking, if you're drinking something, just take a sip of water or whatever it is that you're drinking. All righty. What I want you all to do is to take a breath, uh, take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Now, imagine, feel, or intend that you are being bathed in radiant white light. It gently but effectively removes any attachments that your ego has generated. It allows you to effortlessly release false viewpoints or misguided interpretations of events. It gently cleanses and aligns your visions and desires so they are in harmony with your heart and the universe. This brings you back to your true self. You can relax and allow this realignment to happen naturally in the spiritual light. Take a deep breath in and exhale. As you surrender the restlessness of ego, you can settle into the inner loving ground of your beautiful heart. There is much for you to receive. You need not chase after anything or anyone, nor is there a need to fret or worry. Now is the time to rest in a place of love and trust. Rest for as long as you need. Then ground yourself with a deep breath in and out. Let's do this together. Let's take a nice breath in. Hold. And release. You have completed your healing process. So, Aries, thank you for all being here. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. I hope that you enjoyed your healing and your reading. Okay, know that I have your back and that I love you and all this will be well. Okay, everything is going to be... You're in good hands. This is what they told me to tell you. You're in good hands. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.